Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Abraham Toro in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Missed with a changeup. Two and oh. Two balls. No strikes. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. And it's two, two and one. one now. The wind of the pitch. Just off the inside corner. Full count now. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Fights it off. You'll see another. Righty to the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. JJ Blade stands in now and watches strike one. Vasquez, the six foot righty, he features a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. And misses two. inside. That one ripped. And foul ball. foul ball. The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. Ball. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Kicks and fires. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Ah. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. That one down the line. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner around second. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second for the double. Second and third, one gone. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Miguel Andujar. There's the strike at the knees. Two on, one out. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Going two now. He delivers outside. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Nice job behind the plate there. 
Well, they get a big strike out there, and that was a nice job behind the plate to complete the out at first while keeping those runners at second and third. That could have turned out way worse for the defense. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. That That's one strike. finds the zone. One ball, one strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On his way over. And that's the third out. No runs, a hit, two left. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Back here in San Diego. Today's starting pitcher, number 38. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Luis Arise stands in, and he deals. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Ball. And there's a ball. One one. Down the line on Duhar. Long run. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. And now the lefty. Not two, two. close with that one. And the count's even at two. Line drive. And a base hit right there. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently. Batting average this month over 400. Fouled off. He was late. The rides on at first. Nobody out. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Tatis waits. Inside, almost got him. In the air, right field. Brown moving under this one. Squeezes it. That is good. No left field. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can Ball, just relax, inside. bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Man at first, one away. That Outside, just misses, two. and it's 2-0. Two and oh. Just missed.
his 11th of the year. The Padres score first. It's 2-0. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. If I know four line drives, it's one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. So one out, nobody on. Now Machado up here. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Still only one out here in the inning. Ball Next one. offering is down low. No question about this one. It's out of here. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here's Donovan Solano. He's been a great free agent side. Out in front with the swing and that is strike one. One down, base is empty. Bella ah. finds the corner. No balls, two strikes. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last ah. millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. At the belt and fires. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first, Out. and two away now. That exists. That exists. The, second the second baseman. baseman. Shake. Shake. Cronenworth. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Wouldn't well, chase that time. I got to call NLDS game no four strike. here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Inside. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. Ball. And another ball. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Uh. And there's the automatic. In the air, center field. Lede in position. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second the inning, second set to go. Digging Zach. in for Oakland, Zach Geloff. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And there's a foul ball. Wait. Next ball pitch one. misses. Now one and two. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. That's an out. One out in the second. That is that. The right the field, field, number 15. Seth Brown. Brown. So here's Brown at the plate. Go, 
And One that's in the dirt. The Padres leading by three here at the top of the second. And no. that's outside. Now 2 0. Oh. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog. Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Reaching for it, makes the catch. What about some no nos? Like you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even right. a major league player. Number 12 no at the plate one with strike. two away, swings through that one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. Oh. <laughs> That's great. All one there. That one lifted to left. Profar has a beat on it and makes the play and that's out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres three and the A's nothing. Back here at Petco Park. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Brown makes his way towards it. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Round second, digging for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so. Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So man aboard Jackson Merrill the next up for the Padres. Fought off foul. No outs, runner over at third. Oh. And downstairs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Got him swinging. And there's one down. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and Back just punched him up on the, the inside part of the plate. Oh. Get around on it and catch it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Higashioka, the next to hit, One takes ball. outside. No that oh, one God. finds the zone, and the count one and one. And the pitch. Ball. No. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Back to right. Brown settles under it. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. Roll home. He beats it. And they lead by four. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Now put the ball in play. Yeah, nice job with the sack Ooh. line. And here's the first oh, baseman, yeah. Luis Arias. Oh. That 
misses, and that's ball one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Two down, nobody on. No. Inside just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2-0. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pitch. Swing and a pop up. Brings it in. And that ends the inning. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We played two full. It's the Padres four and the A's nothing. And we're back, top half of the third inning. McCann. Now here is Kyle, Kyle McCann. McCann. Vasquez, back to work. That yep. clips a corner. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. High fly ball out to left field, Profar. Drifts towards it, and it's caught for the out. Now got it. Third base, Abraham. So the batting order Toro. turns over. Abraham Toro up next for the A's. He reached out a walk his first time. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Oh one. Ball. And that's too high. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws the first in time. The center field, number 33, JJ. Two outs, base is empty. This is JJ Blade. Struck out swinging his first time. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs, space is empty. Next oh, offering dude. is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Yes. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail it here for nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. And here it comes. Inside, no, just missed. Now, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Here comes a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two center field under it makes the catch for the out and there's one down now got left fielder Jurek here's the switch hitting left fielder Jurek's in profile he's already homered here in this one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One out, base is empty. Ball. That one missed. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1 1. Profar gets a piece there. Tapper back to the mound. 
throws the first in time. Profar is out. Up next to the Padres, the designated hitter, Manny. Manny Machado up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Fastball for a strike. Two outs. Hard hit, right side. And that is the inning. Padres down in order, but they're in front 4-0. Start of the fourth, and yeah, now Brent Rooker. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball yep. tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. The wind of the pitch. No, Just missed. 1-1. One, one. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball, That's strike two. two. Strike. Wouldn't two chase two. that time. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. So, man aboard. Here's Miguel Andujar. 0 for 1 so far. Right through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. One, Outside. Two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one the away. That's a pretty nasty ball. pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Soderstrom batting with one down, takes a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side, loves it on the dive, and that's a great play for the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. And stepping in is the speedy Zach Gellar. 1-0. In the dirt, runner stays put at third. Rooker on third with two out. And there's a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Ball Looks two. like he's doing a nice job of it. The pitch. Ball three. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Two outs. Three. Now it's three and two. Full count. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. The runner from third comes across as they get one back. It's 4-1. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now at the plate, Seth Brown. That one finds the zone. That's strike one.
the pitch. And a foul ball. Only two now. On the ground to third. That ends the frame. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Padres four and the A's one. Back here in San Diego, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Donovan Solano. Pitch. Hops up. And it drops in. And the leadoff man aboard. No bad. No bad. No bad. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Just missed. Cronenworth in his fifth season. 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. And another ball. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. In the air, left field down the line. Plays it on a bounce, and it eats him up. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. On the mound, he's got to feel like he deserved a better result on that pitch. Really, I mean, just a soft liner that happened to stay fair. But even though you don't want to do it, you've got to tip your cap because the guy at the plate, he found a way to fight it off and get that out. Hassan Kim, the next up for the Padres. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Backed Whoa. off the plate that time. Kicks and fires. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. No outs, runners at first and second. One, two. Got him. And one gone. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Ball one and a pitch inside. Double steal. This one popped up. The infield fly rule call. So first and second with two outs. Kyle Higashioka, the next to hit, drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Just no, missed. He can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Three Next five. offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Oh. And that one missing low. Good spot for Two the ball. hitter. Definitely one has strike. the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Another 2-2 upcoming. Two on, two outs. Goes oh, down yeah. looking. So they strand a pair. We played four. It's the Padres four and the A's one.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Digging in, number 12. Vasquez back to work. That's the shortstop the takes the ball. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Steven Kolick up and throwing. Peralta, the lefty, warming up as well. The 1-0. And oh, that's a no. little bit high. Just missed. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Three one. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. But we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but. He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Man at first, next to hit, Kyle McCann. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. 0-1. Runner at first with no outs here. Check on the runner. He's safe. Left hand hitter waits. McCann fouls one off. Right into the plate. That's oh. down and in. The Padres leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Pass and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him full pull. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Abraham Toro up next for the A's. Right through there for a strike. Here's your one. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. There's one, and that's all they get. Well, I really like this right here. He knocked the ball down on that dive and then was able to pick it up, get it to second base, cut that lead runner off, and that's keeping a guy out of scoring position. J.J. Blade up next for the A's. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And ball that's one. a little bit high. And it's 1-0. One, one ball, no strike. Left-hand batter waits. There's a high chopper. And that one handled. Throws to that's first. Out. That's out number three. The A's strand one, and they trail it 4-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Up now the, the, the Padre leadoff man, Luis Arias. Oh, yeah. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck, Lede. Raging back towards the wall. And caught on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Tatis in the box again. Takes a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Two. That one finds the zone. Oh, a two down. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting jerks in Profar. One for two. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That one fouled off. And he'll two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty got it by him for the K. Padres go down quietly, but they lead it four to one. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Stephen Cole. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Now, Brent Rooker. The designated hitter, Brent Rooker. The pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Solano drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. One away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So up next, Miguel Andujar. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Misses off the play. And one and one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Johnny Brito, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Bases empty, one away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Chopped left side. Solano tosses to first. Out. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The first baseman, number 21, Tyler. And now the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. The other way, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Waste no time there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And it's second here with two away. Here's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. Well First pitch misses. Right-hander kicks deals. Whoa. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Oakland, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back now for the bottom of the 
sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Joey Estes coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Here's Manny Machado now. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he wants to do. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. That misses. Ball one. Slice to right. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. So, man aboard. Now the third baseman, Donovan Solano. In the air out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now that second, second baseman, baseman. Jake. Jake. Cronenworth. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. Pitches outside, ball one. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Austin Adams, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. McFarland, a left-hander, also throwing. Man at second. And there's a strike on the outside corner. to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ball. Really nice job. Base is empty one away. Next for the Padres, Hassan Kim. That Woo! one finds the zone. 0 one, one. Down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. I'll tell you what, he's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. Popped up under this one. He's got it. There's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up field in field the field. zone right there. Really Hitter really looked like he was on it, it, but I think that velocity at the end oh. just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Merrill strike. in the box now. No balls and a strike. No ball. One strike. And ball there's one. a ball. It on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Petco Park, top of inning number seven, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Seth Brown. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kohler, 26 years old. He's actually a former Rule 5 draft pick. Cracks his bat and pops him up. And Get a foul back. ball. Run 
takes it up to 96 to record the punch out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now it's the shortstop. One down, base is empty. That one the other way, and there's a hit. That's back to back singles for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now, here is Kyle McCann. Fought off foul. No, Next offering is downstairs. The Padres leading by five here at the top half of inning number seven. That one's in there. One and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Right-hander deals. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Back to the top of the lineup, next, Abraham okay. Toro. The up next for the A's. Abraham Toro. That one outside. outside, ball one. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Ball two. And another ball. Rio. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. And now here is J.J. Bladé. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. This is again five in a row. First and second, two down. And it's fouled away. To the right side, Cronenworth gathers and throws to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Padres six and the A's one. And we're back. Bottom of the seventh. Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. The wind of the pitch. Inside almost got him. 1-0. Next pitch is downstairs. Bounce to the right. Whips it to first. Out. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. The batter. 
the first base, Luis. Oh, right. At the plate, Luis arrives. One for three. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Many really sells the changeup with that arm action. Very high with that one. And a count one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. That two, one two. missed. Right side. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just now a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel right it up here. enough to really drive it. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That clips the corner. Swings through that. I wouldn't say the game's close right One now, ball. but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Up the middle. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. Profar climbs in on that left side. Late on that fastball. Oh one. The oh one. Fastball one. almost got him there. And a pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now the designated Scott Alexander into the game. He's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. First and second, two down. And now it's Manny Machado. First pitch, just misses. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next pitch is outside. And that's in for a strike. Right side, hard hit. Over to first. Machado is out. Play made, that ends the inning. Padres leave a pair. They lead it, though, 6-1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Johnny Brito. And he's got a nice lead now to work with, so run he run. should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Johnny. Now the A's designated Brito. hitter, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Come 
And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Wandy Peralta appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. De Los Santos getting cranked up as well. Here comes the 0-1. In the air, right field. And there's one away. The left field, number 22. Miguel, Miguel Andujar and now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Ground ball left yes, side, foul. and it goes just foul. Here comes a pitch. Two, two. Left field. Profar has a beat on it. He's got it, and there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch now away Tyler. and wasn't the able to stay closed. Tyler. So two down now, Soderstrom. and here is Tyler Soderstrom. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. No well, as good One as strike. things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And a foul ball. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. So they go quietly there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Padres six and the A's one. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Donovan Solano. As the lefty gets to work. In the air, right side. Brown makes the grab one away. Now back, second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Swings and misses. That's strike one. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. At the belt and fires. Just no. missing there. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. That's out number two. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he no, tried to do a little bit too bad. much. Sometimes sure those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So digging in now for San Diego, ha Sung Kim. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. That one, one missing inside. I 
wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these pitchers really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Two down, nobody on. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They still lead it, though, 6-1. We go to the ninth, and here is Zach Geloff. Zach Geloff. Brito back to work. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And a strike on the outside edge. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And he chases that one. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. So up next, right Seth Brown, 0 for 3. Seven. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. First pitch, and he just misses. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And a good eye there. The Padres leading by five here at the top of the ninth. And another ball. That's a strike. Three and two down. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. fly ball down the left field line and That's just foul three two rip to short now a jump throw Oakland down to the final out Athletics down to their last out. Number 12 getting ready to hit. That's, That's outside. And that is ball one. Two outs. Ball two. Two balls. No strike. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Ball. And that's off the inside three edge. Ball. And now three and one. Ground ball, and this should do it. And that is the ball game. Season ticket holder, you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home. There's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 6 1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
score for the Japanese ball game. For the victorious San Diego Padres, six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left four runners on base. For the Athletics, one run on six hits, one error. They left seven runners on base. It's time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. 